Hello, welcome to the video. This will be my second video on making a Gantt style Excel chart. Uh, the first one I had some feedback that I was going too fast, so I'm going to find a better balance maybe in this video. I'm going to go fast, but make sure it's not too fast. So let me know how that works out. I'm going to start this by making column A a little bit wider and B and C a little bit wider as well and adding some headers. So this will be project name. Start date, end date, and then I'm going to put some dates here. So starting with January 1st, we're going to go in cell E2, make that equal to D2 plus 1, and that'll be the next day. By dragging across, I can make this uh, the whole month of January. We'll go to 31 days. And then I'm going to put the month description above this. I'm going to highlight those cells and merge them and put a formula equals text. Click this first cell, comma, MMMM, four M's, is to spell out the full month. And you can see that's January. I'm going to set, change the formatting of these cells to be custom formatting, format cell, custom, DD. I'm going to make all these a little bit smaller column wise and center them. Okay, now all this is going to be done with one single formula. I'll put a start date here as an example and a stop date here as an example so we can test it for the formula. And all I'm going to do is we're going to check two things. So we do that with an AND operator. So the first thing we're going to check is the start date is less than or equal to the date of the column we're in, and the end date is greater than or equal to the date of the column we're in. So we just click this one here, and we say less than or equal to, and we click this one, and then comma, so this is the second part of the AND operator. So both of these have to be true, and if they are, it'll return a value of true for the cell. So we're going to click this end date here, we're going to say greater than or equal to, and we're going to click the date of this column here, and close parentheses. So when we drag this left and right, we don't want B3 to become uh, E3 and D2, we don't want it to become D3 when we drag up and down. So we actually can cycle through the range reference locking and lock the columns for these two references and lock the row for these references. So we're going to hit F4 three times, hit F4 two times, hit F4 three times, and hit F4 two times. So now when we drag this formula to the left and right and up and down, these will stay in column B and these will stay in row two. So right now, pound, 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 pound means that there's not enough room for Excel to display the value because um, the value is true and it just can't fit in there. So what we can do is convert this to the number 1, where true is 1 and 0 is false, by putting minus minus in front of this formula. And the reason that works is we're saying give me the negative value of this and then give me the negative of the negative, so it's back to the positive. But once you've done math to it like that, it'll be represented as a number instead of the true Boolean. All right, so we're going to drag this across and you can see that 1, 1, 1 are true for the 1st through the 4th. And we'll just test that on the 5th. And you can see it added the 5th. And through here, you can see these are all zeros because it's not in this range of time. OK, we'll go ahead and drag that all the way over. So that's, that's the only formula we need for this whole project. Um, but we want it to look a little bit different than this. So I'll add a project name to this one. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to change the formatting of one of these cells and we're going to go into format cell and under custom we're going to do semicolon 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 and this is uh, a way you can trick Excel into showing nothing for that cell even though there is a value of one in there so we're going to do that then we're going to add a conditional formatting and we're going to say new rule 
use a formula to determine which uh, which cells to format and then we're going to say equals cell D3 now as we go left and right up and down we want this range to change so I'm gonna hit F4 three times on that to say D3 when you drag that down it'll be D4 D5 D6 and we drag it to the right it's gonna be E3 F3 G3 so we're gonna say equals D3 equals 1 so when that evaluates that's true if 1 equals 1 it'll give the value of true and that will trigger this formatting so we're gonna format this as fill and we'll make it black you can do whatever color you want and click OK and OK now we're gonna copy that and we're gonna highlight this range and paste special formats okay so now we have uh, a little shading for the first through the fifth now we just need to duplicate it and then fix the formatting a little before I do that I'm gonna paste this formula down here really big so that if you're watching the video and you need that formula you can see it here I'll put an apostrophe in front of it and then make it really big for you to see okay all right so now the formatting we want to do first thing I'm gonna do is under the view I'm gonna turn off grid lines you can see they turn on and off like that the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy one of these rows I'll copy one of these rows control C and I'm just gonna go as as many as I want I'm gonna paste them in there and then I don't want all these to be filled in so I'm gonna I'm gonna clear that out in a minute but before I do that I'm gonna highlight this range here and go into the formatting so that's control one is your shortcut or right click it and select cell formatting and I'm gonna go into border I'm gonna make this fat border here as a white one I'm gonna click the top the middle and the bottom and click OK so you can see that that separates these bars out so they're not merged together and now I'm just gonna test it out so I'm gonna do one three to one seven one seven to one nine whatever one twelve to one sixteen and then maybe I'll delete the rest of these so you just fill them in as you're going new project maybe that'll be from the 18th to the 21st and there you go it's that simple so let me know if you have any questions and I'll be here to answer them if I am able thanks guys bye